What is up everybody? Today we are in the woods. As you could tell, we are in the sticks. But uh weather was less than ideal. We got a ton of wind. Um so we kind of had to abandon the idea of going on the river and perch fishing. So we're gonna go to the next best thing, which is go take a hike in the woods and look for you know some pickerel or other winter species. But before we get to that, here's the lures I'm gonna be using today. Uh pickerel. Now pickerel are pretty abundant this time of year. You just gotta, you know, locate where they are. Um water temperature has dropped dramatically in the last month. Uh temperatures have started to, you know, set into that winter mode. Um so we're just gonna keep it simple. We only have like 30 minutes, honestly, to fish by the time we get to the spot. So all I'm gonna do, more than likely, <clears throat> more than likely we're gonna test out this uh, Blue Fox Vibrix spinner. Um, you know, it, I've had a ton of success using the number one uh, in the winter time for pickerel and other species. That spinning uh, motion of the blade is you know i believe what triggers the bite i'm going to be using a minnow body because it looks similar to the mama chugs that you know roam the creeks that i'm going to be fishing and is like the number one you know food source this time of year for these pickerel um one of the big keys when you are fishing you know for a certain species like this you try and match what they are feeding on uh, I do have some other spinners that we could use that probably work just as well, honestly. So if the water's super dirty when we get there, more than likely we're just going to tie on one of these rooster tails or uh, MEPS inline spinners. One of the brighter colors we have, you know, fluorescent yellow, orange, red, kind of like the tiger color. Um, but, you know, let's stop talking about the lure and let's get out and fish. All right, so we are taking a walk in the woods today. I mean, kind of a sketchy area to be by yourself, but uh, especially after dark. Uh, I'm not, you know, I love the woods, but it's also kind of like a little bit of a weird place by yourself. So we're going to, you know, fish till the sun's about down and probably call it. But uh, stay tuned. We're going to try and find a spot that we can make a cast from. All right, so it looks like up ahead there might be a clearing for us to work our bait. Um, hopefully that's true because, you know, we don't have much time, honestly, with the sun setting, but looks like we've got a spot right here. So hold on. Let me uh, make my way through. All right, so we're going to work this uh, Blue Fox Super Vibrinx Minnow. I mean, it has pretty good pretty good motion let's see how it looks I mean it is pretty cold out so who the heck knows what's gonna you know if anything's out here oh oh my god look at that look at that dude first cast first freaking cast baby what dude Wind is not stopping us today. Look at this. First slime dart of 2021. Whoa, almost fell. First freaking slime dart of 2021. Man, I am super pumped to have this guy. Chain pickerel, man. Species number four of the year. Um, now, you do want to be careful with their teeth. This guy did inhale this bait, to be honest with you. So we are going to use our pliers to try and prevent you know give him minimal damage I don't want to just rip it out there we go all right let's get this bad boy back in the water Ooh. off he goes he's just chilling right there dude that made my day now it could just be me, but uh, nothing beats, you know, getting a fish on your first cast, you know. Uh, it is probably one of those things that sets you up for failure though, because 
you catch one fish and then you're like super excited and you think you're probably gonna crush them and then the bite's not usually as good as it. Oh, look, we got another one. We already got another one. Look at that, holy, two for two. That's crazy. Two for freaking two, man. Chain pickles. What? Now this guy, look at that belly on that thing, man. He's, he just ate something because I mean, that thing is freaking protruded, but whatever, oh, that's weird. Whatever he just ate, I could feel moving. Literally, whatever he just ate just was moving in my hand when I grabbed him to try and take this out. That's wild. And we're just gonna get this. Ooh. Treble hook out. There we go. No harm, no foul. Second fish of the day, two casts. Let's uh, wish him luck. Off he goes. We were just talking about how you catch one fish and then you don't catch anything for another hour. Might have reverse jinxed myself there. But I'll tell you what, man, when I've said this, you know, in those crappie videos that we did earlier in the month, when you are fishing in, you know, freezing weather like we are today, there's nothing better than actually catching fish because you don't realize how cold your hands really get unless you're not, you know, catching fish. Ah, uh, we broke the curse, or broke this, the streak. We went two for three so far on cast, but honestly, this trip has been made, because, I mean, catching a fish in this type of weather. Now, what's kind of crazy, what I love about you know the different seasons a lot of people complain from new jersey that oh like i hate the cold wish it was warm all the time but honest to god the greatest thing about you know having four seasons is you have different species to target now the spot we're fishing right now i fished this last uh during hurricane delta and when i was fishing this spot all we were catching was pumpkin seed sunfish right never caught one in my life here and you know it's pretty much the only thing we did catch i think we had maybe one yellow perch but we had a ton of pumpkin seeds now roll back two months prior and same spot we're in right now only thing we caught were uh yellow perch so it is kind of neat you know how different seasons yield different fish you know what i mean the water's cold as can be huh? i'm in my waders and i did forget my um thermals so my legs are feel like you know ice bricks right now but it's all good What's crazy is both those hits feel, felt like they were legitimately, you know, maybe a foot away. And I mean, you could see, you could see the motion this lure has. It's, it's pretty good. One of the big keys though, when you're fishing it, you always want to make sure that, you know, line's not hung up on the treble hook or um, you have no grass or anything weighing down your lure. Because, I mean, you could feel when you're retrieving a, a bait like this, you can feel when the blade spins and you can feel when it's not. It's got kind of like a vibration when, when it's spinning. Started out hot, man. And kind of slowed down a little bit, but kind of expected. Two fish off the bat, though. Kind of nuts. I mean, we are dancing with the devil with time man the sun's pretty much down it's the only bad thing about honestly living on the east coast Ooh, so you got a leaf there sun sets pretty pretty early you know when you're uh right on the east coast
Oh, got another one. Oh, son. Let's go. Look at that. Literally, right. That guy hit right at the freaking edge. All right, man. Third chain pick roll of the day. Now, the chain pick roll literally exactly how it sounds they have these you know lines lateral lines running down the side of them that look just like chains but they are a neat looking fish man and they do have some teeth like i said you don't want to lip these guys um that's why we always keep our pliers with us i mean you could see i'm gonna just hold it open i don't want to do it too long that top row of teeth you lip this guy man it is not going to be a good ending for you in fact, uh, last time I went pickerel fishing, we freaking got stuck like crazy by him. But get this guy back in the water. Whoop. I'm not trying to fall in the water. That's the worst part about fishing in cold conditions. But let's get him back in. Off he goes. Look, he's just chilling up. Spooked him there. So, so far, so good, man. Three, uh, three pickerel. Three chain pickerel. And we're not really working the, uh, the lure too fast. Like I said uh, in, you know, previous winter videos that we're doing, I mean, these fish are cold water fish. Um, but, you know, you don't want to work your lure too fast. You work it too fast, you might, you know, not catch much. We're trying going like an intermediate speed. Enough to keep, you know, the blade spinning, but not too fast where you're just ripping it away from them. In fact, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see, you know, where these fish are actually following it from. You know, are they getting it right off the ledge or you know, or have they been following it for a little bit, just stalking their prey? Tell you what, man, can't beat this. Windy day, you know, we... Oh, got him, got him. Look at that little guy we literally were planning on going perch fishing today but the weather did not want to cooperate so we uh decided to go somewhere else to get away from the wind and boy am i happy we did look at this guy beautiful now that one's a lot darker kind of crazy the color difference let me try and get this now, big key when you're trying to take out the treble hook, and this guy fortunately did not swallow it, but you want to get the stem of the hook and then pull it straight out. That way you're not damaging the fish. And look, he's he's back in the water, off, off he's going. But the stem of that hook, I'm gonna show you real quick, because you could probably save, you know, some pickerel's lives or any fish that might have, you know, inhaled it like that first fish we caught absolutely engorged this uh, lure but what we're doing when I'm putting the pliers in I'm literally taking it and trying to grab let me show you the stem the main stem that way you can kind of move it you know side to side to loosen it um, I do push the barbs in on these because if you know how barbs work uh, they can be pretty devastating uh, to the fish in a cast. Well, unfortunately, that sun has set and we are out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, as always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, click that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. I hope you guys had a good time. Thank you for watching.